Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Jim and Java where we create videos that are designed to help you and help your nonprofit organization change your world impact our society by raising more money increasing income and becoming fully funded i hope you really have enjoyed any of the videos if you've watched this in the past if you're new to this channel we would love to have you as a subscriber all you need to do is click the big red subscribe button below and be sure to click the bell to be notified of new and future videos that come out and this channel is designed to make a difference in our world and to serve the community of nonprofit leaders. And I am just delighted that you're here with us today for this video. Let's dive in as we normally do to our question of the week. Our question of the week is from Michelle in Nashville, Tennessee. And Michelle asked the question, you've raised your own support for a long time. What are the key lessons you've learned over the years? Well, Michelle, thanks for that question. I appreciate it a lot. I really have seen it as a privilege. My wife and I have raised our own personal support for the last 38 years. And when we got into this, we were in our mid-20s uh, after having worked in very successful jobs for a season. And we really were... Um, we went in with fear and trepidation, not knowing exactly what it meant to raise our own personal support. But I can tell you that it has really been an incredible blessing for us to have the opportunity. Because we believe that all the individuals who have come alongside us over the years, and we have had some people that were on a few years, and we've had some people that have passed away after supporting us for a lot of years, but we probably have 85 to 90 percent of all the people who started with us are still with us to some degree or another. And to have those people giving to us year after year, month after month, uh, it's just amazing to see how many individuals have stayed with us. And those people are thinking about us, they write encouraging notes, they pray for us. But the bottom line is remembering the principle that I've said many times before in many different contexts. People give to people justified by the cause. And it really is about the relationship that you have with people. Many, if not uh, probably easily 95 to 98% of all the people that we that support us right now, we never knew before that. Uh, it wasn't like I had a whole network of friends, colleagues, co-workers that all of a sudden started helping us when we started raising that. This was a really different concept for a lot of our friends and some just didn't even understand and some didn't even bother or really want to understand. So we had to introduce this concept to people that we didn't know. They understood the concept but didn't know us. But I can tell you after 38 years, some of these people really I'll have to say many of these people are very very close friends to us have become deep deep lifelong friends we have some that we have asked to be in our will to take our kids should we pass away we've had some that have asked us to be their guardians for their kids should they pass away unexpectedly we've had some that gave sacrificial gifts when our daughter was born with cerebral palsy needed years of physical therapy and eye surgery We've had some that wept with us at losses. We've had some that have prayed for us on a constant basis for years. So the relationship with these people that you build is so very strong. And I have also learned never to take people for granted. I've found that the people that I thought were going to give won't give and people that I never thought would give do give. It is amazing how I've had people who do extremely well financially, give little per month, and I've had some people who can't rub two nickels together and they have made amazing sacrificial monthly gifts to us. I've had people that like to give monthly, some people who prefer to give annually. We probably, in this phase in our life, probably get anywhere between 60 and 70 percent of our annual salary as a result of gifts at year end 
and that is huge that's enormous so that means that a lot depends on those gifts at your end and those individuals that I've helped frequent communication is another key element staying in touch with people I've mentioned many times that if you're in a dating relationship and only communicated with the person on a monthly basis or on an annual basis you probably wouldn't be dating that person or in the case of a spouse wouldn't be married to that person today it's the exact same thing with our partners I know colleagues who write once a year or every six months I have consistently, my wife and I have communicated, written letters with our partners every month since 1984 and only skipped a handful of months in all those years. And I believe frequent communication, a combination of successes that we are seeing through our direct efforts, but also a little glimpse on our personal lives all makes a huge difference with people you need to find a good combination and a balance between your efforts and what and your personal life I have some people that immediately drop down to the second half of our letter because they are very connected with our family I have others who start from the beginning read through the accomplishments and skim through the personal things dealing with our kids and their relationships and spouses I have some that read consistently both parts so it's impossible for you to, to target specifically who likes what but it's really important to stay in communication frequent communication we also make sure that we are communicating on a regular basis with people from the standpoint of thanking them of making sure that we appreciate them we send at least a thank you card and a Christmas card with a gift to certain levels of our partners and so appreciating them through gifts so it really does come down to treating people as you would want to be treated yourself and making sure that you thank and appreciate people it's so very very important the individuals that we've stopped giving to it's because we haven't heard from them very very much or we're not, not excited about what they're doing and I believe it's exactly the same way the people that support us so I hope Michelle that that helped answer your question and that those are the kinds of things that you can incorporate with your own efforts as well so once again make sure if you like this channel to subscribe follow us also on Instagram at dev effectiveness strategies you can also reach us on Twitter at dev strats and use the hashtag Jim and Java and follow us on Facebook where we've got weekly tips on Thursdays of activities and recommendations for, for nonprofit leaders and nonprofit organizations. Wednesdays, we've got our fundraising and film fun section. And then also on Mondays, we kick off the week with our three tips that you would do this week. So hopefully that will encourage you. And once again, I hope that we will help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. See you next week. Thanks again.